Hey guys, before I start the final episode of Tales on Lapeer Railroad, I mean, yes, this is the final episode of Tales on Lapeer Railroad because, because on my other channel, I am starting a brand new rail series, and yeah, and it's going to be replacing this one since I'm going to end it since it's kind of off track. So yeah, guys, if you want to see more train series like this one, click the link below to watch the video and sign up for the locomotives. Because my new rail series is starting in a week. So yeah, if you click the link below, it will guide it will guide you right to the video where you can sign up for locomotives. I mean, watch the whole video for instruction. I mean, don't worry, it's only like 40 seconds long. So yeah, you'll be able to get through it quickly. So yeah, if you read the description, there will be some locomotives. And then there will be some locomotives that will be already taken. So yeah, if you see a free locomotive that you want, comment down below you saying, I want this locomotive, like insert the name here. So yeah, so yeah, that's all I have to say and let's get on to the final episode of Tales on Lapeer Railroad. Engines. Today is the last day of T Lapeer Islands Railroad because they're going to retire this railroad soon, take out all the tracks and stuff, and turn it into a trail. So, yeah, um, the only duties I have for all of you today is to take all the rail cars that are currently in this yard and go and then put them towards the scrap yard. So, yeah, I mean, at least we'll make tons of money off of it, but I just. But I thought, you know, it's kind of sad to see this railroad go. I mean, it did not have a controller, and then I signed up for it, and then all of a sudden it's going all downhill. So, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this railroad. I, If you didn't, then I bet you're glad to take all those rail cars to the scrapyard. So, yeah, rackin' them, stackin' them. Yes, finally. This stupid-ass railroad is going to die. Thanks, Mr. Hamilton. I never knew that you are gonna be nice for once. Okay, first of all, I am already nice to all the engines around here. Second of all, this is all a sad day. You should be sad. Even though you even though um I said even if you don't like the railroad, you should be happy doing this job, but I'm sad to see this railroad go. I mean seriously, Dave, you're gonna be the first one to take all those beam cars to the scrapyard. So go and do your job or else you're grounded again. Okay, fine. Whatever. Even though I hated this railroad, but I don't want to do this stupid job. Wait. I can just throw these off of this bridge. Ha 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 This will be so funny. Hey, Mr. Hamilton. I'm done with the job. Oh, really? Did throw them into the siding? No. Okay. Did you did you derail while doing it? No. Um. Okay. Did. Ha 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 ha! Just kidding. I dumped them into the water. La 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 la. la. Dave, are you kidding me? <clears throat> you know what? How about I hire Jackson to do it? Wow. This is gonna be easy as fuck. You know I can do it better than Dahlia because I'm the king of engines here. At least you didn't hire Devin's oily ass to do it. Hey, that was just rude. And I'm still mad at your fat fuck friend that stole my zebra cake. And Jackson, I thought we were friends. And Devine, how dare you call Larry a fat fuck? Well, stop your complaining and I'm out of here to take some autorax into the scrapper. Man, I hate this job so much. These stupid lumps of rust are heavy as hell. Wait, I see another engine. It's gray and it looks like one of those Pennsylvania Railroad GG ones. I'm just gonna hire him to do my job. 
Lol. Man. What a long day. Now I can return these cars back into the museum and go home. <laughs> Wait. Another locomotive I'm gonna stop and say hi. I am James the GG1. What's your name? Chop the hell up and do my fucking job, you old piece of shit. Ah, not gonna happen, you shitty fag. What are you gonna do about it? Oh, that's the way it's gonna be. Huh? That's it. Time to use force. Why a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a there was this asshole that harassed me, so I had to shove the cars up his ass. What? what are, are you kidding me? You literally nearly killed an engine all because he made fun of you? Oh, you know what? Whatever. I think the scrappers will eventually come by and collect all the cars for the scrapyard. But for now, we are going to take our final adventures on the Lapeer Island. So, you know, y'all, you, you can explore the island if you want. Hey, that, that sounds like fun. You know what? Let's go exploring. Ah, the great old bridge. Let's go exploring. Alright, here we go. Wait a minute, I see another engine. Wait, it looks like a flat car, but it's really small. And there's two people operating it. Hold on, let me see who it is. Why do I have to be so slow? You know what? I'm just gonna take a break. Wait, who's that? It's a green diesel locomotive. I'm gonna stop and say hi. Huh, whoa, you are a locomotive. You're, well, you're more like a hand car. Well, who are you? I'm Dave. I'm a hand-operated car. I was been existing ever since the 1800s, and surprisingly they put me into service again. It why they done that but they done it. And the only warning device I have is this lousy bell that came off of an EMD. Well that's cool. I have a warning device, and it's a K5HL. It's a very loud horn. I'm sorry if that's loud to you. Besides, I gotta go back into my sheds very soon. Well, that's okay. And I can't believe Lake Pier Island is shutting down. Also, I can't carry any cars because it will be too heavy to handle. So yeah, that's a little history lesson for y'all. Well, yeah, I thank you for talking to me. I gotta head back to the shed, so see ya. Well, that was pretty cool to meet a hand-operated car. Well, I guess this is the final minutes of Lapeer Island, I, I guess. Anyway, whoa, who is that over there? It looks very ancient, and it looks like it came from Britain. Who is that? My name is Stephen, I'm one of the first locomotives ever built, and I came in here to get some rest. Well, that's interesting. Did you hear about Lapeer Island shutting down? Also, I'd like to hear some history from you. My loco name is the Stevenson's Rocket and I was one of the first locomotives ever built in the UK. I operate on coke instead of coal since that was the fuel back then and yes, I heard about the island shutting down and it's pretty sad. Well, that's pretty cool. And yes, I do agree sh the island shutting down is pretty sad. I mean... Yeah, I'm gonna let you rest now. I'm just gonna, you know, rest as well. We're gonna be moving out tomorrow, and yeah, with the, all the other locomotives as well, so... Yeah. Good night and see you soon. It was nice meeting you as well. Hey guys, let's go. 
M.R. Hamilton just told us to go because they're gonna take out every rail related thing in the morning. So yay, let's get out of here. Alright Benjamin, let's go. Uh, goodbye Lapeer Island, you were a great island to hold us jobs, but you know, you're about to be retired, so goodbye. Hey guys, me again, and yes, that was the end of the series right there. And yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed Tales on Lapeer Railroad. I mean, I had to retire it because it was getting pretty off track. So yeah, guys, if as I said in the beginning, if you want to see more rail series like this one, click the link below to sign up for the locomotives, and the series will start in a week. So yeah, that was end of Lapeer Railroad, I guess, and see you later. Bye.